now those little brats are knocked out. You notice that old gum sticking to the bottom of their shoes, like crushed leeches. Tragedy. A sympathetic encounter. It has fulfilled its mission cautiously and conscientiously, but clearly, no one cares. I dare say it's the most popular mint gum now. When the Chicagoans lost their rights to get drunk, they could only turn to this nasty upstart stuff. Hmm. The sales champion is the bubble gum machine near Wrigley Field. The old gum on the kids' souls also comes from there. Some gravel mixed into the squeezed gum base. The off-white sand. The synthetic waxed elastic fiber. In the South Bank, there is only one place where such a politically symbolic floor is laid. St. Pavlov Foundation. It's very lively here in the square. Just like every day in the past. Speculators who advocate mankind's supremacy are trying to get the attention of the Foundation through demonstrations. They are on the same side as the Foundation, but the Foundation has no intention to treat these protesters as allies and give them what they want. They even sent a little girl to go through the motions as a perfunctory response. Yes, yes, no one will ever ignore them. They are honey-colored. They are the morning sun in California. They are the dazzling spot on the dough that you'll never catch. For those hypocritical politicians, the little girls are the delicacies that they would drool over. Luckily, this little girl is not one of their prey. She is nervous, but not panicked. She doesn't seem to be good at dealing with these slick politicians. The mission capsule of the Foundation grew hot in her tightly clutched fist. And on the other side of the square, another little girl in a black suit is looking over here gloomily. She stood by the Foundation's air outlet, the best place for her. A position that is too marginal to be further marginalized. That's the best portrayal of the second generation immigrants in the 20th century. She is the good girl you already know. Orange hair. When she's deep in thought, she turns her pen like a nimble ball in a magician's hand. She is puzzled at the guys shouting around her. But there's light in her eyes, as if she's expecting something... nice. Is it because of the next task packed in the mission capsule? Or the people she is going to meet? Her cheeks are a little rosy now. The thing in her hands is loosened too. This is a good chance. She feels a hot wind from Africa blow towards Trapani. Then the whole of Sicily becomes dry, warm, and comes alive. The air smells like tropical corals and wild oranges. That wind is never supposed to be part of this cold winter. But the warm vibe lingering and dancing in her mind reminds her to live on. She used to be desperate. Though all she has been through was failure after failure, her vigorous vitality won't fade away. At least not now. What are you doing? Why did you pick up that cold, opaque, opalescent glass wine bottle from the ground? 
at this most critical moment. The scream outside the parking lot, the friction between the brake pads and the wheel drums, or the story unfolding like Jallo films. Obviously, none of them are as impressive as this bottle. I can tell that you got good taste. You know it's not easy to get this stuff these days. But why are you staring at the bottom and licking your lips? Tell me, you are not going to take a sip, are you? This is not a wise choice. You can't see the color of the liquid inside the glass. Maybe it's not the ice wine, or beer, or any homemade alcohol. It's probably, very likely, just a critter's snot. Even so, do you still want to give it a try? Right. It only took one moment for you to decide to click, while you had to stand so much nonsense for no reason. My apology if the story didn't unfold as you expected. But luckily, you still have your sanity that you are always proud of. Come here. Let's put down the bottle. Before Sonetto and that floating apple notice your unusual behavior, you still have a chance to restore your image. After me, say hi to them. Pretend you've never been tempted by the bottle. want to find out what you're composed of. I'll chew and swallow all the gene analysis down to my stomach so I can figure out how did you keep your sanity? No arcanist is ever as rational and restrained as you. They should. They should. If there is really one in the world that should be. And I know so much about you. Too much about you. Even I cannot deny what you are. I can't. Me, I'm no one. But I can also be anyone. A drunken, slovenly old man. A cleaner in a rundown hotel. A fund manager greedy for more. Or a cute spinning crystal skull. But now I'm only a rubber asshole whose mischief just failed. A desperate loser. My wrath can't even burn a weed in the Pacific Ocean. I'm looking forward to the day we formally meet each other. Only then... <laughs> Now lift your big ass and continue your wonderful journey. I will appear at any time, any moment, no matter you expect or not.
here again. Maybe it's telepathy. Maybe your soul is out of your body. Maybe... Anyway, you're back here. In the dark woods, the huge oak trees crack in front of you. Dry and pungent fumes billow out. Flames swallow a lot of things. A lot of money. A lot of lives. Family laughters. And a pair of eyes that once looked to the future. Dead skin. Dead fish. Upturning fishy scales. Desperate. The wailing whales of aquatic animals being boiled in the sea. Your palm tingles as you caress the trunk. The tree trunks with hanging dried strips of bark look like frightened cats. This might be their last effort to retain their dignity before meeting their doom. The hanging bark falls to the ground at your touch. No muss, no fuss, as if they've prepared for the fall for a long time. The woods are no fan of the fire, but they don't like staying on the cross for a long time either. You still have so many questions to ask her. But before you could, the battle has started. I like you being positive. Your optimism will help you achieve your goals. Get with the impossible girls, pay the bills, and probably become the greatest pacifist. Oh, did I just mention the girls? Just in case I need to add a few more. So get with the impossible girls, boys, elders, transgenders, cute radios, assheads. Enough. What we said tonight is just between you and me. 